Hi and welcome to another video from Sysadmin Tutorials. Today we're going to be just basically installing VMware ESXi. Um, a lot of the tutorials on my website are based on VMware so you need a foundation to build that on and we're going to build that oh, mostly on VMware ESXi. Um, from reading through the notes in VMware, uh, after version 5 comes out there will be no more VMware ESX so therefore we're just going to concentrate on ESXi However, I still do have the tutorials on my website for installing VMware ESX, so if you need to uh, reference those, please head over to www.sysadmintutorials.com, uh, click on the tutorials menu and go down to VMware and VMware ESX. Okay, so this is going to be a fresh install of VMware ESXi. Uh, nothing on the hard drives at the moment, so um, what we're going to do is uh, we've booted off into an ISO image that I've just downloaded from VMware. Uh, I'm just going to click enter here. Uh, we're going to accept the license. And so here we've found a partition, on, or we've found the hard drive. You can see that it's got 10 gig free space, and that's where I'm going to be installing ESXi. So let's just click enter and we'll just do F11 to install. So I'm just going to fast forward the video a little bit here and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so we're back. We've completed the installation. Now our server is going to reboot. Uh, when that comes up, we're going to be in evaluation period. So let's just uh, hit enter. Okay, once ESXi is booted up, as you can see, it's pulled the IP address from my DHCP server. But what I'm going to want to do is go in and customize a few things. So to customize, let's just click on F2. So by default, we've got the username as root and password as blank. And so first thing, let's go in and configure a password. So I'll just type in my new password. Enter. and that's my password set. Now I want to go in and just configure the management network. So hit enter on that. Um, if I click on network adapters, uh, you can see I've just got one adapter and it's connected at the moment. If you have multiple network adapters, uh, you'll, see the, you'll see them there and you'll also see if the status is connected or disconnected. So just a note, when you are configuring the management interface, make sure you are configuring it on the connected one, otherwise you're going to have a few problems getting to it. Okay, so um, that is definitely the adapter I want to install on, so I'm going to hit cancel. Okay, you can also go into here and configure a VLAN if your network's on a, using a VLAN, but uh, I'm not going to be using a VLAN here except the default, which is actually, actually D, uh, VLAN 1. Okay, an IP configuration, I'll hit enter in there. I'm going to change it from dynamic to static. And now I'll be able to go through and assign my own IP address. Uh, my subnet mask and my default gateway. So I'll hit enter. Okay, you can also configure an IP version 6. And the next thing we'll change is our DNS. So here is our primary DNS server. Uh, it's correct, 192.168.1.1 is what I'm using here. So I'll leave that, but you can actually just type your primary DNS server in and a secondary DNS server here. For our host name, I'm going to be changing that, so it's just I'll just make it VMware host. Um, if you have a domain, you can put that in as well. Put in vmlab.local, and I'll hit enter. And you can also append DNS suffixes. So uh, in my domain or Active Directory domain here, I'm using VMware. Oh, sorry, I'm using vmlab.local. Enter. Okay, I'll escape out of this section. And I want to apply the change. It's going to restart the management network. I'll hit yes. Okay, cool. So my management network's all set up. My password's set up. Um, if I'm having any issues later on, I can actually jump back in here and restart the management network. 
I can also test it and disable it. Also configure a keyboard, uh, view support information, view system logs, um, a few troubleshooting options and I can also reset the system configuration or remove any custom co extensions. So I've used reset system configuration again when I was configuring a Cisco Nexus uh, 1000V switch which is a virtual switch from Cisco. Um, uh, everything went haywire and I couldn't access the ESXi server anymore so the only option I had was to jump into the console reset the system configuration which is where that came in really handy. Okay, so I'm just going to log out here, press escape, and that's my uh, ESXi setup. So now what we can do is I'm just going to switch over to my management network, which is a Windows XP machine. Okay, and what I want to do is just open up Internet Explorer or your whatever browser that you're more comfortable with. I'm just going to go in here, I'm going to do HTTPS and the IP address that I've set for my ESXi server, which was 1.25. Press enter, accept the security alert, and here's the web, web page for the ESXi. Um, so the first thing I want to do here, and probably the only thing I want to do, is actually just click on download vSphere client. So that's going to pull the vSphere client across from the ESXi server. As you can see it's 243 meg, it's quite big. So um, I'm going to save that on my desktop. Okay, so our VMware client has finished downloading. So um, I've just downloaded to the desktop and I'm going to click run. Click OK. Click next. Next. Agree. Next. Uh, username um, next and we'll install to the default directory and uh, install okay now we'll click finish And so let's fire up our VMware vSphere client, even though we're not connecting to vSphere. Um, let's put in our IP address that we set before. So I'm going to put 192.168.1.25. Username will be root and the password that we changed earlier on. And let's click login. Uh, let's click install the certificate so that we don't see it again and then we'll click ignore so next time when you go to log in you won't see the security warning anymore so let's click ignore yeah, and we're running on an evaluation license which by default will expire in 60 days so we'll click OK there and uh, we've logged into our ESXi server so if we go into inventory you'll see our host 1.25 click on summary and you'll see up the top here VMware ESXi 4.1 uh, this is actually uh, update 1 so the build number uh, replicates that so uh, and that completes this tutorial so thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time